Good evening, everyone. Bruce Jenner's recent gender transition has sparked a lot of conversation nationwide, and uh, we're going to tell you about that. Yeah, Local News 8's Chelsea Brensel met a woman who is speaking out about her transition. Chelsea? Well, Jay Carroll, Daniel Lundgren is a former Idaho Falls police officer, and I spoke to her today to find out how she made the major decision to change from a man to a woman. You can't understand fully, and so like, nobody can expect you to. The way I saw myself when I looked in the mirror was different than what everybody else saw, and everybody else didn't like what I saw. Danielle Lundgren knew she was different at a very young age. I was only allowed to play with, you know, boy toys, G.I. Joes, Legos, those kinds of things. And deep down, you find ways to compensate. So I would play house with my G.I. Joes. Um, and getting caught meant consequences, sometimes severe. Not being able to express herself led to decades of deception. 40 years of living a lie. Masking what she felt in her heart, she lived her life as a man. Having kids, getting married, going into law enforcement, and just being the ultra macho, you know, man's man. This is what society says I'm supposed to do, so this is what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to do it just to this level. I'm going to take it to this level and be the best that there is. Fifteen years ago, Lundgren began research, trying to define what she had been feeling so for so long. And one day, I came across transgender. And it was like a light bulb. But she had to explain it to those she loved most. <sighs> Finding the courage to tell her former wife wasn't easy. She didn't want to see it. She didn't want to know about it. She didn't want to hear about it. And who can blame her? Somebody that you share life with sits down one day and says, I feel different inside. Lundgren slowly began her transition by taking hormones and wearing women's clothes. Maintain a male identity, even though I was lying to myself and the rest of the world, but still satisfy some of my female side. But as time went on, it wasn't enough. That's when she says co-workers at the Idaho Falls Police Department started treating her differently. The constant treatment, um, very passive-aggressive treatment, uh, people parking your car in, to your, try leaving to go to an interview, and your car's parked in, you can't leave, you can't get into it. Lundgren says even though it was hard, happiness and freedom were worth it. Give everybody a chance. Because we're your friends. We're your neighbors. We're the people that serve your food. We're the people that you call for help. Just give everybody a chance. And to anybody out there like me, it gets better. Life gets so much better. Lundgren did resign from her position at the Idaho Falls Police Department, Police Department because of the way that she was treated. Now, she is in school right now and she's making a career change. She hopes to become a sexuality counselor to help others like her. Live in the studio, I'm Chelsea Brensel. Uh, thanks, Chelsea. Idaho Falls has a support group for transgenders. If you're interested in learning more about it, head to our website, localnews8.com. Meanwhile, an unthinkable act.